Hello everybody and welcome back to the new save file. We are back once again and as you can see I started a Lazarus run on Greedia mode but again my recording kind of messed up to start with so anyways we're going to jump into it. We're still on our streak if we take a look here 32. We'll continue it on and we'll just continue into this run here um, and see what we can get done. I, I, I was a bit like apprehensive about Greedia mode. Um, Kuba meat's obviously not great here. I was a bit apprehensive about Greedy mode here, uh, just because it can be a little risky for us. Ooh, Smooth Stone would be a really, really nice thing to grab here. Um, but I'm just going to kind of see how this goes and hope for the best. Um, obviously, Lazarus here ain't got a lot going on for him to start with. Uh, but I wanted to do a Greedy mode run because we haven't done one in a while. It's just Greedy mode can be a little risky as all. Oh, I do not like this guy as, a, as an enemy to tango with. Basically, I'm hoping that we can get Smooth Stern there and it help us out a bunch. Um, and then, on top of that, we can get something nice from our item room. That would be Muy Bien, very spicy. I'm going to try and use Cuba Meat when I can, but obviously it is a little bit of a risk to use. So I don't want to overdo it. I need to kill these guys all sort of, yeah, there you go, all sort of near each other. So that I um, don't have webs fucking everywhere. Because the webs really do screw you over, potentially. Okay, there you go. He's gone. We're good on the money front right now. But yeah, for the question of the day today, mm -mm -mm. what's something weird that you've seen in real life recently? What's what's an odd thing you've come across? I was I, I recently went through and replied to everyone's comments, and someone in my comments section, you know who you are, was talking about accidentally stumbling upon a bunch of teenage witches in the middle of a in the middle of the woods doing some weird shit, and I found that pretty funny. Um, and I'd, I'd be interested to know what other weird stuff people see on a day-to-day -day basis or have just come across recently that you found pretty odd. Because there is many and many weird things in this world. And it's interesting to talk about them. Okay, you are a little bit of a nuisance. Luckily, not that difficult though. Not that difficult. Same with you. These, these guys are real problematic if they actually get up and move around. But a lot of the time they decide not to, which is nice. Okay, now that makes things a little trickier. Oh god, that was a bad hit. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the whole kill myself thing as Lazarus here. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea. We are done with this wave now though, which is nice to see. Good, good, good. Grab all of that. So we don't quite have enough Smooth Stone yet, but we will after the bosses. So let's grab our key now. Um, and yeah, Smooth Stone's going to be super good for killing bosses. Um, and we pop in here. And wow, okay. This... I actually think we can't take this, because basically what this does is it's, we spawn rocks on taking damage. But, that does give us the ability to get like more, um, more like tinted rocks and stuff, but we don't have bombs. It could fill the room up and make it literally impossible for us to, like, if we get hit three times and we got to stay in this room the entire time, it could literally ruin us. It could literally ruin us. So, um, not particularly happy with that idea, unfortunately. Uh, one interesting thing is that we do have the D12 in our shop. It could be kind of fun to, um, to, like, mess around with the D12 plus the Curse of Creation. But on a run where I'm trying to win and streak, not a good idea at all. I have to say, this combination of bosses, not a fan. Right now, not a fan. This guy's creating the balls everywhere that are kind of a nuisance. And he's creating these pits everywhere as well, which are also a nuisance. I'm trying to get in there with Cuba Meat, but he's like, just dodging me. It's like, only just dodging me as well, it's annoying. Right, I think Pin's the, the clear winner of who we take down first right now. Yeah, good, good. Okay, we've, we've sorted out one of the major issues here. But yeah, this guy's kind of tough. Oh dude, he's so hard to hit with Cuba Meat as well. I'm trying my best. Just because it's some extra damage, but it's not going great. I think I'm just going to have to play this nice and slow and not die. But yeah, Smooth Stone will make killing bosses a hell of a lot easier because it means we do a bunch of extra damage to bosses. It is also a base damage upgrade as well, so it's nice in that account as well. But for, it's mainly going to be good for the late game. For early game, it's not going to do too much to help us out. Dude, stop moving! Oh my god, that guy was a shit. Right, smooth stone, awesome stuff here. 
Um, and then we fight our boss, which Smoothstone will also help against. We'll, you'll see that we're doing a ton more damage to these guys. Like a ton more damage. Okay, that was very bad of me. Good. Devil deal, we will leave. Uh, angel deal on greedy mode is always the way. Um, and although it's a risk... Uh, it's, actually, I was going to say although it's a risk, I'll buy a heart, but it's only a half heart. I'm not buying a half heart. Right. Down we go. Feeling not so good about how this floor went, to be honest. Uh, smooth stone is, is hugely beneficial, but other than that, I'm not particularly happy. We did get enough to uh, buy a key off the bat here, so we could do that if we wanted to. Check what's in here first. Um, ooh, yes, please. That's very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. That puts me in a good mood. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna like take it a bit risky here and just buy a key off the bat. Um rather than going for the HP. Melatonin, we've we've seen before how powerful melatonin can be. Um so I probably wanna take that. Blood bombs is quite nice here. Heals five hearts. Got a luck upgrade from that. Yeah, melatonin I think we'll take. Um Basically, it's an active you can use multiple times to increase your tier rate. Uh, it doesn't particularly help us on the greed fight itself, but really, really helps us on the actual waves. Um, because we can just keep stacking and stacking our, um, our tier rate. And it's, it's very, very nice to have. Get careful of these dudes. For some reason, the creep these guys leave uh, is like really laggy. I don't know what, what's different about the creep these guys leave compared to normal enemies. The game really doesn't like it. I'm really not liking this uh, this bat being a champion and just sticking around forever. Finally got him. This is slightly a difficult room. Them guys are a little annoying. I don't like the headless boys just chilling as well. Oh, dude. How are you gonna come at me with that? Headless guys, die! You're so oh, you walk in such horrible ways. I hate you. Why well, gotta be the way that you are? Okay, good money. We don't need a key now either. We've already bought one. It's always nice when you can get a key right off the bat, or you already have one for the floor. But yeah, greed mode on streak is certainly a little like strange, and it's not quite how anyone would do a regular streak. I think I think most people wouldn't count a greed mode win as a real win. And to be honest, I don't really either, but I do feel like it comes with some inherent difficulty. And we are going for completion marks. I'd like to not die. That'd be nice. I might need to buy some HP here, because I've taken some really dumb damage. Basically, I've just been hit by three champions. Not the ideal way to go. Good, okay. I'm going to buy one heart just to... Let's press this button and see what we get. That's a little upsetting to see. Um, we don't have any on-hit effects, so but the sharp penny would be good if we did. Yeah, let's buy... Let's buy one heart. And then we'll buy melatonin next round. I think we'll have enough to buy it. If, if I don't, I'm going to be really upset, but I think I will. Again, we'll deal great damage to bosses, so no need to worry about that. You can see that the, like, the boss is like flashing with damage. That's the um, smooth stone doing the extra damage there. There you go. Okay, strange. Wasn't expecting this. Good, good, we got it there. Right, quickly grab melatonin. Ooh, loaded d6 there. That would be quite nice. So we can pop this, gains us a bit of tier rate. And then we can pop this and pop this again to get a bit more tier rate. It just means we have a huge amount of tier rate to work with here. Ooh, I do not like... I do not like this boss. I'll tell you, I've not fought the reworked version of this boss much before, but he is a tricky bastard with all of his summoned pooters that surround him. Wow. Well, this guy's like way harder. Way, way harder than I remember him being. The pooters like completely defend him, like really, really hard to hit him. And they just fire constantly. It's, it's kind of crazy. Having two of these guys is kind of nuts. Like, there's just so much shit everywhere. And he spawns the pooters back so quickly. How am I not being hit more right now? 
Like, how am I dodging all of this shit? This is crazy. Honestly, the, the stun effect that we're getting every now and again is really, really helping us. I'm just taking out all these pooters first. Because they're really annoying me. Okay, we just about did that. That was a little tricky. Hopefully we get the angel deal here. I think we should. Lovely. This could be a saving grace here. Um, consume all item pedestals in a room. It gives three lemon get and wisps. All we can take. Damage is reduced by 0.6. Okay. I'm going to take this because I want to keep um, melatonin right now. And don't think we want anything else from this floor. Again, our health isn't looking too healthy right now. Isn't ideal. Let's keep it moving and grooving. Someone's messaged me on Discord. Oh no, I think someone just joined my server. Yeah, a new person joined the server. If you're not in the Discord server already, go join it. It's a fun place to chill and do stuff. Really? 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 You're going to give me ball of bandages and cube of meat? That's kind of annoying, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay, I will buy that just in case. And now we will keep popping melatonin as much as we can. we we got to pop it at the right timing to make sure we don't get hit. This was a bad time. Yeah, the timing on that was poor. Okay, another pop of melatonin here if we can get it. There's just so much fire rate each time. Lovely. Still a little worried about my current HP, I'll be honest. Okay. Well, this guy's popping off a lot of children. Good, good. I'll see if I can get another one in. It, do it goes over cap as well, which is really nice. You only need about three uses of it and it becomes very, very good. Oh, dude, this is a lot of these guys. Also, this, like, champion dude here is, yeah, I gotta say, he's a real nuisance. Really hard to hit. Right, leave, leave the brimstone guy, because he can kill other enemies. I didn't manage to kill him there. Okay. Probably have to buy more HP here. Honestly, I'm wasting a lot of money on buying HP, which I'm not a fan of, but... Oh, well. There's not a lot on this floor I want to buy anyways. And um, what does that item room hold? Can that item room finally be good? Yes, it can. Okay. Carolina Reapers, very, very nice. Unfortunately, we lose all our melatonin bonus by doing that, which is a little sucky. We can get two of them here, though, pretty easily. Yeah, I love the fact that we can freeze enemies and stuff. Very, very nice. Especially with Smooth Stone, it works out very, very well for us. Not particularly confident with this guy. I don't really know what this dude does. Pop another Melaton in here while we've got it. Yeah, I don't like the fact that the mask is staying so close to him right now. Okay, we're good. And then one more boss here. Pop another one of those real quick. Don't get close to me. Bugger you. And we freeze him again. Yeah, melatonin on greed mode is just so goddamn insane. We lent that as a uh, tainted Jacob the other time. On that sadly failed run. Please, another angel deal. Yes. Okay, and we get Angel Wings. Awesome. Tears replace with piercing feathers that deal more damage the more they travel. Double tap to perform. Yes, this is just an absolutely fantastic, fantastic item. And we do have 15 right now. I don't think there's anything here that I want. Let's just go down to the next floor. I love Angel Wings. It's such a, such a fun um, item. And it has some really cool double tap attacks as well. You just saw that we summoned that little baby there, but there's some really interesting ones. Uh, basically all the d different dogma attacks. Right, uh, so here this is kind of interesting. Okay, well, that's great. It blocked off that again. Um, sponsor the capsule and remove five coins. Uh, basically, yeah, that's not great for us. 
It's not ideal. Um, let's check what we've got going on in here first. Tears range. We don't really need tears that much. Um, I'm just going to buy the key for now. It's not ideal. Um, I'm going to hold it for this floor and try and get as much HP out of this as I can. Do I want to... Do I want to go for this? Basically, we get three capsules out of it. We'd lose all of our money. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for it. Wow. Three luck upgrades, which, honestly, entirely pointless on greed mode. So that was... That was a big upsetty spaghetti. I was hoping for at least one HP up or one damage up. But yeah, I'm going to keep... Um, I'm going to keep the uh, current active I've got right now because that's going to be helpful for... Uh... Can you die already, dude? Thank you. Yeah, I want to get as much HP as I can out of uh, active here. Dude, this guy's insane. Why is he so large? Like, this is this guy's this guy's mahusive. What? What the hell's going on with this bad boy? Why has he got so much health? Oh, dude, this is fucks. This is so fucks. Oh my god, that was horrible. Why did that guy have so much HP? Well, there goes all that HP I was trying to save up. Beautiful. Ah, the spawning of that dude is like the weakest attack. There's so many other good ones. Right. We do have two times chub. These are always a little difficult when we get like two times chub waves and stuff because like they're not balanced around the uh, the new versions of the bosses. Like these are balanced around original chub, not uh, not modded chub. So these can be a little hard. We get Skolex in this bitch too, and this is new Skolex as well. This is this is gonna be kind of fucked too. Skolex, you do your thing. Ah, oh, damn it, I wasted the brimstone. I'm trying to kill Chubb, but I can't fucking find him most of the time. How did that not kill him? My goodness, I gained, like, no health from this. I almost died as well from creep. Is Skolex still broken? Does he still not die? Because uh, whatever they've done with Skorlex's armor is so fucked. He just has so much HP with the armor that he has. It's, it's insane. Like, I have piercing. He should be dying really, really fast. It's just an absurd amount of HP to have for a boss. Where the fuck is he? Okay, Skorlex. I'm sorry, but... um. I've got to do... What's it called? I can't remember the thing now. Um, debug 10. Every single time I have to debug 10 kill him. Every single time. Right. Uh, I will take that. Why not? And we'll buy the key as well. And I'll buy some HP. I should have bought fucking battery charges. God damn it. Didn't even think about that. Gets one soul heart out of this. Don't really know what to think of these guys. These guys have also been reworked. It's very funny having... Oh, dude. I couldn't see that attack because of the goddamn... Uh... God damn it, that was stupid. Because of the goddamn brimstone beam. I didn't even see that attack. Whoa, man. What's all this about? Oh, my God. We're getting rinsed right now. And then, of course, we get a devil deal. Fuck's sake. Yeah, it's nothing good either. I mean, Gusty Blood is good, but I'd rather just hold out for an angel room here. Not happy with how this is going so far as a run. I 
I, I do think this is a potential run killer right now. Like, there is the potential of this ending our run. We've, we've got some good items, but we need a lot, lot more. Like, well, right now, we need a lot, lot more. That's pretty nice. I like that. That's also pretty nice. Got tiny little feather shots. Lump of coal is probably pretty good as well here. Probably take lump of coal. Right. Can't remember what these guys do. That. The brimstony boy in there, I see him. Some rats in here as well. I like the, the god's head one. That's that's my favourite attack, I think. Ooh, there's a black heart there. Get away from me, you. Go for another one of these. Up to 8.5. We're getting near to soy milk levels of fire right now. Is what I like to see. What I like to see. Okay, let's go straight through all the waves here. Yeah, unfortunately, this just isn't going to be as viable on the boss because we can't use melatonin more than once. Is it just the one of you? What the hell? That was easy. Please give us an angel deal. Please give us an angel deal. Yeah, up to 10 fire rate, baby. Oh my god. I don't know what this attack is. Just let me kill you. I was able to stall the other guy spawning by not killing the Bernie. Yes, Angel Deal is back. Um, ooh, Stairway is kind of an interesting one. Sets damage to 7. Unfortunately, my damage is already near to 7, so that's not great. Uh, I guess I'll take Stairway, although it's a bit late. Um, I guess it's better than nothing. Right. I was going to buy Lump of Coal, but honestly, I probably want to hold off for Stairway now. Okay. Down we go. Stairway could be our saving grace here. We could get something really good. We've only got, like, one or two floors? Yeah, we only got one floor for Stairway to be useful, so... Uh, um, The skulls are pretty goddamn good, so I will take that at least. Um... And then what we got going on in here. So we got... That's not very good. Spawns a battery and pick up. That's fine. Cactus in a pot doesn't really do much for us. I'm do you know what I'm most worried about at the minute? The amount of health I have. I just not do not have a great amount of health. Right. Continue on with this and just see how we go, shall we? Oh god. Dude, what the fuck is going on right now? I'm getting just rinsed by these guys. Right. Okay, things are going better now. I'm just not liking that HP I'm on at all here. This could this could end very badly. The good thing is our damage is pretty good. It's not amazing, it's just pretty good. Good 
good. Take out you fellas, whatever you are. Good, good. Oh my god, and the, the Carolina Reaper for the extra damage as well is pretty good too. Yeah, I don't know what your little horsey boy's doing. Okay, we got him pretty easily actually. Oh my god. What we really need this for is a reroll to buy a bunch of soul hearts, but it doesn't look like we have that. Same boss as before. Don't like fighting two of these guys, but it's certainly possible. Just annoying. The freezing's really nice. I'm hoping that works on greed. Another angel deal is fantastic here. This is weird. Photon? I don't know how Photon's going to work, but it is a damage and tears up, so I'm going to take it. Right, let's take a look here. So, I think I want to go for the cheap items and just hope I get something good. Foul gut. Fills all hearts with... It fills all of our hearts with rotten hearts is the problem. Would it give us more hits overall? One heart container, plus two, yeah, it does give us more hits overall. Little baggy doesn't help as much at all. Eek. I'm scared. Oh, what? We got cancer out of this? Nice, okay, that helps. Um. I guess I'll take that, and then I guess I'll put four into you to get a double charge, maybe? Yes, okay. Getting a double charge from him is actually pretty goddamn valuable. Okay. Right. We have two uses of Melatonin, which is nice. It's going to slow the boss down a good bit. Oh, I forgot we'd have Stairway on this floor, too. Let's see what we missed out on. Okay, not actually that bad. Not actually that bad. Don't use melatonin on this floor because we don't get a charge out of this room. Don't get hit. That's very terrible. Right. Okay. We come in here. Pop melatonin one time. Pop melatonin a second time. Okay, now he's slown. Like, not significantly, but a decent amount. And on top of that, we get a big fire rate boost. For a 7.6, I think that's pretty goddamn good. We've really got to be careful to try and not get hit here, because we do not have a lot of health. I think if we get hit on a Rotten Heart, it deals two hearts of damage. I think we still had overall more health, though, with the uh, Rotten Hearts. Oh, bloody hell. Wasn't a good hit there. We are doing good damage to him, though. I will try and stay close to hit him with the Carolina Reaper Fires, because that means even more damage dealt. That plus uh, Smooth Stone is meaning that we're dealing pretty good da uh, damage to him overall. Plus the Skulls coming in on occasion as well is pretty nice. Keep spawning these boys, which I don't actually have too much of a problem with right now. Um, spoilers there. Might have touched a few of those and healed him up. Don't like that. Good, he only got healed once there, or twice even. We are destroying shots sometimes with our skull boys as well, which is nice. I don't like our cactus getting in the way of me though. So far this is going better than I would have expected. Okay, I'm just going to say ahead of the Keeper, but we don't actually want that, because that'll just heal him. 
That's a really cool item to get, but a little bit late. Honestly, the freezing is super valuable. It lasts for so long. Okay, so that's that done. Now we just got to get through the actual hard bit. Under the fire on him. That hit me? Wow. What? The what the fuck? The radius on that? I'm a, a little bit annoyed, I'll be honest. He's currently stuck in the air. I think I froze him while he's above. Um I think I broke it. What do I do? So, what do you guys think about this, then? Um, I've clearly... So, we have a problem here. Okay. That didn't even work. Okay, um... Uh, rewind, I guess? And restart the fight? Which is horrible, but... Only thing we can do. That's very annoying, but like, it's soft locked. What the hell do I do? <laughs> but I don't feel like it's fair to just say I won because I was in a risky spot there. Dude, what the fuck did that coin do then? These spinning coins are annoying the hell out of me. Annoying the hell out of me. Okay, I'm stressed out now. I'm really stressed out. Dude, these spinning coins. What the fuck with these spinning coins? They're horseshit. Stop moving the way that you move, horrible bitch. He did the keys this time. He didn't do the keys last time. Oh, dude, he like proc like every single key. Oh, God. I'm stressing. I'm stressing. Okay, we at least got through this phase. <laughs> right, let's hope that doesn't happen again. I'm not exactly sure what happened to cause that. Okay. So it seems that melatonin just completely breaks this phase. What's the call here, guys? What do I do? Do I have to refight him without using melatonin? Because that doesn't seem fair. <laughs> like, I think I'm just soft locked right now. I guess we'll wait and see if he comes down. But yeah, I think the melatonin slowing his movement is just like soft locked us. This is something else. I'm trying to think if there's anything I could do. Look at the ring of debris around him. I'm trying to think if there's anything I could do to, to get him out of this phase without just killing him. I just feel like it's a bit cheap for me to de- because basically my thought process right now is I use debug 10 to kill him because there's a decent chance I would have killed him anyways but there's also a half decent chance I would have died and I feel it's a little disingenuous to the streak 
to just kill him that way, but clearly... So, the, the other thing I could do as well is I could rewind and not use Melatonin at all. But I feel like that's not really fair either, because Melatonin is a big part of my build right now. Um, and I feel like I earn it. <laughs> so, I don't really know what to say. It's just kind of... yeah. And I did the fight twice as well. I don't know. I'm gonna have to debug 10 this guy. I hope you guys understand. It's a bit cheesy, I realize. But... At the end of the day... What else was I meant to do? Oh yeah, we unlocked Keybum and Plan C. Amazing. Right, yeah. That's not how I wanted that to go. And I apologize that I had to cheat on the streak. I'd really rather not do that whenever possible, but here we are on 33. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.